we have a mass shooting problem. We've had over 300 mass shootings, or excuse me, we've had over 300 people killed by guns just in the 72 hours leading up to Valentine's Day yesterday. Over 300 people killed by guns just in the three, just in the 72 hours leading up to Valentine's Day. We have somebody on average die by gun violence in the United States once every hour. Guns are now the leading killer of kids. Now we've got this mass shooting at Michigan State University. Two of the people who were in the immediate area where the shooting happened, who survived the shooting, were also survivors of high school or elementary school shooters. One was a, a survivor of the Parkland shooting. The other was a survivor of, uh, of Sandy Hook. I mean, this, we now have people who are going through, I mean, you know, 18, 19, 20 year olds who've been through two mass shootings in their lives. Literally, no other country in the world has this problem. Not developed countries, not developing countries, not absolutely, totally flat out, poor, broke third world countries. We're it. We have 40% of the world's guns in civilian hands and we are 4% of the world's population. We have over 400 million guns in this country. There's only a little over 300 million of us. Anybody can get a gun anytime they want. It's, it's the guns, stupid. Governor Gretchen Whitmer of uh, Michigan uh, and, and President Joe Biden uh, in response to this shooting in, in, uh, in Michigan where the gunman killed three people, killed three students and seriously wounded five more. Uh, by the way, today is the fifth anniversary of the 2018 shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Anyhow, both uh, Whitmer and uh, Biden have now come out and said, it's the guns. We have too many guns. I mean, you can lay this at the feet of the NRA and the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, not their words, mine. Um, Robert Shentrup, who, whose sister Carmen was killed in the 2018 Parkland massacre, said, quote, Young people now experience gun violence multiple times throughout their lives. It's true. And guns, gun violence, uniquely in the United States, is the number one killer of American children. Number one, bullets tearing their bodies apart. In Canada, it's car accidents. In most, in most other developed countries, the number one killer of children is either car accidents or accidents more generally. In, in developing countries, the number one killer of children is typically disease. In, in uh, uh, you know, full out third world, you know, Burkina Faso level of poverty, it's the poorest country in the world. Uh, country, or Afghanistan, um, the second poorest country in the world. In those countries, the leading killer of children is, you know, is, is typically disease or even malnutrition. But here it's bullets tearing their bodies apart. We're the only country in the world where that is true. And yet our politicians still cannot muster enough courage to take on the National Rifle Association and the gun lobby, the gun manufacturers lobby. This is insane. This is just absolutely flaming insane. We've got to do something.